right, Air Karen's calling uh, for a flight followed. I was on the line here. Say it again. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yes, sir. It's uh, Bonanza 8200 Delta. We're probably about seven miles northwest uh, of Jasper, climbing out to 3,000 feet. Requesting VFR flight following to North Texas to Gainesville, Texas. Identifier Juliet, uh, excuse me, Gulf Lima Echo. Roger, sir. And uh, that was 8200 Delta, correct? That's fine, sir. Walk 2777 for me, please. 2777 for 8200 Delta. Thanks. All right, so I put my squat code in my squat box. We're getting entered in the system. I gave him all information. So he's putting it in the in the computer so that when it shows up, my little airplane on the radar screen. Yeah, 1433 contact use of Moving up, it'll show my call sign and my destination. That way all, all the controllers along the way will uh, know exactly who I am, where I'm headed. Over zero, zero, Delta, you are radar contact, uh, 14 miles to the northwest of Jasper, 6,500, and uh, just give me your type one more time, sir. Yes, sir, we're a Beechcraft Bonanza 35 model slash Alpha. Roger that, thanks. Zero, zero, miles. zero, Delta, contact you, center 134.8, have a good day now. 34.8 for 8200, zero, zero, Delta, thanks, Charlie, yeah, we'll see you. Yeah, center Southwest 2603, leveling 1,600. Southwest 2603, Houston. I'm just waiting for a pause until I call up again. Thank you. It's about 2 Southwest 2603. Good morning, or excuse me, good evening for uh, Houston Center. Bonanza 8200 Delta. Check in, level 6,500. Number 8200 Delta, Houston Center. The left can altimeter 3024. 3024 for 8200 Delta, thanks. United 58, climb and maintain the level 310. 3200 Delta, just, uh, let's just wait. Continue eastbound now, I'll get you turned back to the southeast here momentarily. Roger, we'll continue eastbound and uh, wait for the call for 8200 Delta, thanks. And you said it was one about 130 for 00 Delta? That's affirmative, ma'am. Thank you. Alright guys, kind of cut the camera back on, but we got a heavy, it's uh, a triple seven that's coming in the DFW that's about six miles to the east at our altitude. And instead of flying straight through the guy's wake turbulence, lady, he's like, hey, we need you to go ahead, or it'd be best you know, for you to go ahead and continue on east. And then she'll turn us on an encore setting here in just a little bit, so she helped us out there. And uh, for 805 Delta, as slant, they want us on a 235 head. You still want that? Number 05 Delta, when able, you can proceed direct to Niter from my 13 left. Direct for NIDA for uh, 13 left, zero 05 Delta. For zero, 00 Delta, you can proceed on course. On course for 8200 zero zero Delta, thanks. Southwest 207, you do have traffic 1 o'clock, 8 miles southeast bound to Bonanza at 5500. Okay, so that's us. Lucky, Southwest 207. We're looking. And the zero, 00 Delta, that traffic for you is 11 o'clock, 7 miles southwest bound to Southwest Boeing 737, descending out of 8500 for 6000, they'll stay above you. Okay, we're looking for the traffic for 8200 Delta, thanks. All right, we got an MD-80 that's crossing over the top right there. Bartex 165 with the descending five. He's probably good uh, 1500 feet above us, so she didn't call that advisory. But we got the Southwest jet that's coming in. Getting vectored in. He's going to come around the northeast side of the X-ray approach. Clock four six the three four nine. DFW airspace and get vectored in. To land towards the south at Love Field. So we're looking for him. Like she said, she called it at uh, or eleven o'clock. Now remember, you're going to be able to spot your your traffic better with your peripheral vision than looking straight at it. I've, I don't know how many times I've looked directly at 11 o'clock and I can't see it until that airplane's passing at 10 o'clock and I picked it up on my peripheral vision. You'll be able to spot. Okay, now we've got the Boeing jet in sight. Yeah, he's going to be well ahead of us. Up and above us. Zero five Delta with traffic at eleven o'clock six miles opposite direction is a banana at three thousand five hundred. We're looking zero five Delta. Number six whiskey Mike, you're service service terminal stand the code contact McKinney Tower on one one eight point eight two. See ya. One one eight point eight two McKinney Tower whiskey Mike. That's zero. Number three zero zero Delta contact the Fort Worth Center on one three two point zero two. We'll see ya. 
Delta, thanks for all the help. See ya. 132.02 for the next controller. Get dialed in here. Alright, so we'll try it. Hey, good morning, Center. Bonanza 8200 Delta. Level at uh, 5,500. Checking in. Center 8300 Delta. Fort Center Roger. Major South Cemeter 3032. 3032 for, uh, and we'd like to just confirm it's uh, 8200 Delta. I think they could put in the computer wrong. Number eight, uh, eight two zero zero Delta, right there, right in, please. I didn't for eight two zero zero Delta. Number eight two zero zero Delta, right there, contact two zero miles west of Majors. Okay, everybody, let's jump back and, and review that flight. First of all, be prepared before you ever get in the airplane. Go ahead and write down your center frequency that's controlling their space directly above the airport so you intend to depart, okay? And then, if you're at a tower environment, go ahead and request VFR flight following with a ground controller, okay? And he'll go ahead and start getting you entered in the system so you have to do it whenever you're airborne, okay? Makes the process a lot more uh, efficient that way, okay? Then, always go ahead and put the center frequency into your standby uh, uh, section of your radio. That way you do like I did. One one click of the button and then your center frequency is activated and you don't have to not be fumbling through the charts with your head down while you're taxiing or flying, okay? And then remember the www. Who are we? Where are we? And what do we want? Okay? And then go ahead and make your initial call to uh, center. Get entered in the system and he'll give you a squat code. Be sure to write that down so you don't forget it. And then uh, you're entering the system and you're flying and they're going to start giving you traffic advisories if there's any along the way, okay? And then sound as professional as possible, as polite as possible, and speak slowly if needed, okay? So the first couple flights, go ahead and speak slowly and once you get enough practice, then it's going to become second nature and you're just going to be firing off uh, ATC radio communications back and forth like crazy. Okay, and then let's go into once they transfer you from one controller to the next, it's going to be the same sequence. Your previous controller is going to give you the, the frequency for the next controller. You'll uh, contact the other controller, he'll give you a barometric pressure setting for his block of airspace that he's controlling. He wants everybody to be on the same uh, uh, level playing field, they, they want to be at the same altitude. Okay, and then he'll give you a frequency for the next controller down the line. And once you make your initial call up to that guy, he'll give you barometric pressure setting for his block airspace and so on and so on and so on and so on down the line, okay? Now you say, well, Brandon, what about canceling VFR flight falling? Well, all you do, you can cancel it any time. If you can be in the middle of your cross country and just decide, ah, I'm, I don't want to talk to anybody anymore, or you can wait till you're you know, 15 miles away from the airport and cancel. You can cancel it any time. You just request, you know, so and so center, such such airplane. We uh, request to cancel VFR flight following at this time, and they'll tell you to squawk 1200 in your transponder and uh, to go ahead and, and change to advisor frequency. And you can go ahead and talk to uh, a Unicom frequency or a tower or whatever airport you're going to be landing at. Okay. Now I've some people that come to me like, well, Brandon. What if uh, I switch the next controller, I can't get a hold of him, or the guy just keeps telling me to stand by and he's too busy? Well, if you want to just go ahead and get out of the system, you don't need to make any radio calls. Just squawk 1200 and just change the frequency. It's uh, The system is designed for uh, to cover IFR flights, so the VFR is just a kind of courtesy deal. Their number one priority is IFR flights, and if they're too busy and they can't handle a VFR uh, flight plan, they're not going to. And um, so anyway, that's that's where being professional as polite as possible really comes into effect. They're they're going to be uh, they're going to want to help somebody else. El excuse me, they want to help somebody out that sounds polite and professional versus some guy that sounds like a redneck and doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, so. Anyway, I uh, hope this video helps. If you guys uh, have any requests for any additional videos, like I said, go ahead and contact me on my Facebook page, and I'll try to get a video made up for you guys. So anyway, have a good flight. We'll talk to you later.